Yo, what's up? It's your boy Marwin. I'm gonna show you how to make a nice, delicious maple glazed ham today. It's got a tight glaze plus topped with a very delicious, rich cherry pineapple based sauce. Start by making that glaze with some butter that I'm gonna melt. I'm gonna infuse some thyme in the butter for additional flavor and then add some maple. The key is to, to get that butter warm and then allow the, um, the thyme to steep in the melted butter. And then you can add that, uh, the maple. And just, you just want it warm and heated. You don't need to cook it, you know, it for a long time at all. Because those flavors are just gonna melt together uh, once you mix them in. I'm starting out with a, you know, store-bought, pre-packaged, hickory smoke spiral ham. So it's already been sliced for me. You know, really just cutting out all the work. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of reheat it and then add my flavors, you know, to it to just basically elevate something I bought from the store. So I got that maple butter glaze that I'm just gonna paint with a brush in all the crevices of that ham and between every slice, front, back, side to side, you name it. I'm trying to get this glaze everywhere um, to really add some additional flavor. Oh yeah. If you're wondering, I tossed out the uh, the flavor packet that came with this and just kind of made my own because that's what we do. We want just really high level flavor. Uh, and so I'm using mine versus the store bought. So I got my ham glazed up, ready to go in the oven. So I'm gonna flip it, put it down with the bone up, cover it with some uh, foil. And then I'm gonna bake mine in the oven at 350 for of for a minute like right for for me i do 10 minutes for every pound so you know you do the math i'm going to remove some of those juices that pan juice put it into a saucepan and use that to help make the sauce that i'm eventually going to top this with but before i make that sauce i'm going to sprinkle this with a little mix of brown sugar white cane sugar all spice cinnamon and salt and pepper and go back into the oven for about 15 minutes to get that nice crust on the outside. Now I can start working on my sauce. I got the pan juice plus some chipotle adobo sauce, just a little bit. I don't want the spice, I just want that flavor there. And then I'm gonna mix in some of the other ingredients like that, the cherry juice, which is key. I didn't want to make a sauce or the, the cheesy um, pineapples plus um, those cherries cooked on the, on the ham. I wanted to make a sauce that had all that in it. So I got some bourbon, some pineapple juice, as well as the remainder of that brown sugar mix that I made earlier. Mix that up, cook that down to a nice syrup consistency, and then just layer that on top and inside the crevices of the ham. And this is, this is the best part. I mean, it's, it's, it's flavored inside and out, even though we started with a pre-bought ham. This is delicious. I think you're gonna put this on the table and love it. You can use that sauce for pancakes, for oatmeal, for, for whatever you want to sauce up. It's just so good. And the outside of that ham has a nice crispy edge to all the different slices. If you like this dish, you're feeling it, leave me a like, leave me a comment. But most importantly, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and you'll get updates each week when I post new content. That's it. Have a happy holiday. Thanks. Peace out.